This story is about a new AI technology. I'm talking about AI voice cloning. While the cutting edge technology is often misused by scammers to impersonate people, it is now being used to bring about a positive change. The voice cloning tech is emerging as a game changer in the healthcare sector. Here is more. AI voice cloning, a technology that lets people replicate any human voice. This emerging technology makes it easy to impersonate people. People fear that it may become a major tool for scammers. However, a team of doctors is putting the tech to good use. They are using voice cloning technology to recreate the voice of patients who have lost the ability to speak. Meet Alexis Lexi Bogan. In high school, she was a soprano in the chorus. Bogan often loved to belt out Taylor Swift and Zach Bryan ballads while driving around in the car, but last year, she lost her voice. Lexi presented to us after months of headaches, nausea, vomiting. She, we discovered that she had a brain tumor in the back of their brain uh, called the posterior fossa, uh, the size of a golf ball. It was very vascular. She had to go uh, into urgent brain surgery that lasted 10 hours with uh, extensive blood loss because the tumor was so bloody. And from that surgery, due to the pressure on the cranial nerves that uh, control uh, vocal cord function and throat muscles and the tongue function, she had trouble speaking afterwards. Months of rehabilitation aided her recovery, but her speech is still impaired. Enter technology. The 21-year-old has got her old voice back. But it's not the real one. It's a voice clone generated by artificial intelligence technology. She can summon it from a phone app, the synthetic voice was trained on a 15-second time capsule of her teenage voice. It was sourced from a cooking demonstration video she recorded for a high school project. This is very adverse. You can use anything that you would like. If you want to use cucumbers, you can chop up cucumbers and put this in here. Bogan's synthetic but remarkably real-sounding AI voice can now say almost anything she wants. She just needs to type a few words or sentences into her phone and the app instantly reads it aloud. This app is called Testplay. It has my AI voice and I can type in anything that I want to say and my voice from my phone will say it through the speakers. So, I'm going to press on it and scroll. It feels amazing to get my voice back because almost like a part of my identity was taken away when I lost my voice. Bogan also tests the app at a drive through coffee shop. Hi, can I get a grande iced brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso? Dr. Rohed Ali, a neurosurgery resident at Brown University's Medical School and Rhode Island Hospital is helping Bogan in her recovery Meanwhile, Bogan's doctors have started cloning the voices of other willing Rhode Island patients. They hope to bring the technology to hospitals around the world. We've all been seeing AI take off over the past you know, year or two, and there's a lot of questions about it, a lot of questions of how it's going to help people. And we had this opportunity where we were given this early access to this technology called Voice Engine developed by OpenAI. Taking 15 seconds of audio, it can um, recreate someone's voice. OpenAI's new voice engine is one such tool that is making it possible. Other AI providers, such as the startup Eleven Labs, have tested similar technologies for people with speech impediments. Interestingly, voice cloning tools are proving to be useful for people who have lost their voice. They are enabling distressed patients to speak again in their own voice, a feat that was previously impossible.